Alright, so I saw this article the other day on GamesIndustry.biz. Does the gaming press of old hold up today? They don't make games journalism like they used to, and that's probably a good thing. It's from Brandon Sinclair, which I'm not a big fan of his, but you know, you'll see why here in a second. But, and he goes on and he talks about how when he was a kid, there were so many game magazines, and he, how it was, a uh, it helped, it helped, you know, teach him to, to write for games and all that kind of shit and everything. You know, the usual kind of fluff job and everything. There's Right here, there's a part where he's talking about a, a Substack newsletter from IGN's Justin Davis, you know, in which he had talked about a Polygon magazine, not the website. He said, Davis then takes a few well-justified shots at Polygon at the decision to put leisure, uh, leisure Suit Larry on the cover with a cheerleader upskirt shot, a feature on how to get your girlfriend into games, which was horribly out of touch even in 2004, and a line referring to a game as so Japanese it smells like sushi. Now the thing about the whole how to get your girlfriend in the games, that's relevant. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, I'm not sure about the specific article in question here, but it's like, hell, I see people saying that stuff now. You know, how to get your girlfriend in the games, you know, so on and such forth. Anyway, here's a, here's a another quote from the article. Polygon's occasional outburst of casual sexism and lowbrow humor almost feel reflexive. By my totally unscientific estimation, or estimation, about 90-95% of the magazine's work is really good. Well, just fucking ridiculous. But anyway, you know, you talk about that kind of stuff. Well, let's go see what uh, Dan Stapleton from IGN, executive editor of Reviews, he's on Twitter here. I'm not sure if you guys have heard a story about this Sony executive who got uh, basically exposed in this pedophile video. Uh, anyway, this, the, the Josh. Your ego stroking challenge to prove review corruption pales in comparison to not one outlet condemning George Cap Cap Capio or whatever. This is corruption in high form. Weak outlets that can't fight the hand that feeds them. Do your damn job. It's pathetic, IGN. You know, Dan Stapleton. He, which this, this tweet is since deleted. He's like, I've never heard of him. I bet that's why you aren't seeing anyone cover it. It's a guy that no one knows being implicated for crimes unrelated to his job. If Sony turns out to have known to protect him, or if he'd use his position to do it, that would be games industry news. Josh replies, that would hold water if he was some random Sony employee. This is an exec of PlayStation Network. It's very pertinent to gaming in the industry. Figure a vet like yourself would know that. Plus, at IGN just released an article about space. Nothing to do with gaming. And, you know, Dan replies, right, but Sony had nothing to do with his actions as far as I can see, and he's not a name anyone recognizes, so it's not really news. IGN covers lots of things that aren't game-related, but general crime isn't one of them, which is complete bullshit. They've since put up an article about this and stuff. But it's, it's like, it's not games news. Well, general crime isn't one of them. Well, I think it's pretty fucking relevant when an executive of a, of a video game company gets caught, possibly, you know, allegedly being a pedophile. You know, because they'll cover all this other bullshit. And it's not just IGN, too. It's, it's fucking places like Kotaku, you know, the, the Polygon website, and all that kind of stuff. They, they all fucking suck. You know, it's like... And going back here, you know, does the gaming press of old hold up? And you say, they don't make games journalism like they used to, and that's probably a good thing. How right you are, Brandon. You know, how right you are. It's not a good thing for people like you and for other scumbag idiots who don't know their ass from a hole in the ground like Jason Shearer or whoever who are going to set on stories and stuff. You know, you want to push your politics instead of actually talking about games, which is the only thing people care about. Nobody goes to IGN, Polygon, Kotaku, any of these fucking places for anything other than video games. You know, although now it's different, I suppose, because you've, you've conditioned people enough times to not expect that stuff, to expect a bunch of preaching and moralizing and shit. But anyway, yeah, I just, this is so, this is so fucking stupid and everything, you know. That's probably a good thing that they don't make games journalism, actually do games journalism, you know. It's just fucking ridiculous. Anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. It's already over four minutes. I'm going longer than I was expecting to on this. But uh, just, sometimes I, I just point this kind of stuff out. It's just, you know, just now it's important, I guess. I don't know what difference it really makes to these fucks, though. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.